games. Okay, and back to the track we go now for the Hyper Ice men's 1500 meter run. And a big field, including the man right there with the eight on his singlet, Matthew Centurance, Olympic gold medalist from the Rio Games. Yeah, Matthew has had kind of an off year with some injuries, some setbacks, but I spoke with Shalane Flanagan, who trains and obviously coaches with the Bowerman Track Club, and she said they just need to get him into some races and time it out perfectly because they want to keep him healthy. And a fair start in this Hyper Ice men's 1500 meter run. And I got to tell you something. Oh, and we've got a fall. Oh, my goodness. We have a fall. Two athletes down. And that was Mohamed that went down. Okay, so Mohamed is out. And the rest of the uh, athletes continue. No gun, so they continue. That is an unfortunate reality sometimes in distance running with a big field. Somebody gets in trouble, gets their legs tangled up as they try and close in, and, and they're, now they're out. So as I was going to say, uh, Matthew Centerwoods, who is now tucked into about fourth position, you see him in the red shorts and the eight on his shirt. It was some moment carry when he came across the finish line at the Rio Games in a 50 meter run where he ran the perfect tactical race mm -hmm. and everything came together for him. And when he walked up to the mix zone to do the interview, he was literally in shock. <laughs> he looked at me and I looked at him and it was, it was as, if, as if he did not understand what had just happened. Well, and it was a great moment. Yeah, he sat and he sat and he sat and he finally right. went for it in that final lap. And you know, that's what the Olympic Games is all about. It's not necessarily do you see a ton of fast times there. It's very tactical. They ran very slow. Right, and, and that played used, right into his hands. Right in his hands. And you know, a lot of times we'll see Matt run, Matthew run, um, in 800 meters early on, but he is now opening up with this 1500. He ran a little bit indoors, just taking his time. Like I said, you have to be yeah. careful. He's getting older. Yeah, I love the fact that you corrected yourself and you, you yeah. went from Matt to Matthew because for him that's important. His dad, Matt Centrowitz, was a great runner. Yep. And if you don't know, Matthew Centrowitz at those games had tattooed across his, t his chest like father, like son. Uh huh. Like father, like That's son. That's pretty awesome. And Johnny yeah. Gregoric, who we see in third place right there in the blue singlet, his father was also a very, very good runner, Johnny Gregoric Sr. So lots of, lots of, uh, you know, athletes that have gone before, and now we're seeing the youngsters. Yeah, and you see the guys there on the left who have dropped out. Mohamed uh, there. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one who uh, took the fall. So now we've got a smaller group uh, moving away down the back stretch. Jake Hayward in the uh, in the front there. He is from Great Britain. He's a 336 guy from 2018, but he clearly has the talent to run well. Johnny Gregoric behind him. Matthew Centrowitz in third. Lots of great athletes. Josh Thompson back there in the white singlet from Bowerman Track Club. Indoor uh, mile champion in 2019 is looking to have a good race. Doesn't look like he's quite got the zip yet, but they are stringing it out here. Central Woods uh, still now into third. Again, such an excellent tactician, but you got to wonder, Carrie, that after you've been to the top like that, literally the top of the Olympic podium and had a moment like that, how do you manage expectation, drive, the purpose, the desire to do that again? It's And you have some injuries and what have you. It must be a bit of a challenge. So you can see Centrowitz now. He's just a smart runner. Look at him. Move to the outside there, getting himself out of trouble, making sure he's got space to run. Uh, They're moving up now into first on the back stretch with just a little over 200 meters to go. This is what he likes to do. That's he likes the, to that's wind the tactical it up. Matthew. That's he, him. He has a chip on his shoulder all the time. I mean, that's how he runs. That's how he portrays himself. That's why he is a great athlete. And he's starting to open it up a little bit. Yep, he sure is. So Centralwood's coming off the final turn up the home straightaway. Looking to be in command. Easy transition. Shifted gears with just such ease as everyone behind him battles. And he's going to come across the line. Well, yeah, there are the arms out. That's telling you he feels great. And let's see what the official time. It looked like okay. 335, 26. 26. You know what? He should be pleased with that. He yep. has not raced up to where he should be. He's a 330 guy. Yeah. Now and you see that right there? Look at that. That's yeah. swag right swag. there. That's he's swag. That's swag. He feels it again. <laughs> You know, I kind of miss on Look his Instagram. He used to say Merman. I like that when he does that. Yeah. You know, that means he's confident. Yeah. We, we haven't seen him on Instagram and, you know, posting a lot. And I think sometimes when he kind of steps away, people start to wonder. But look at this. He yeah. does have that swagger. Yep. Look at the faces straight. Quick look over the shoulder. I got this. Yep. Let me put my hands out because I want to feel that feeling again. You know, he's got a little bit of of showing up to do because there's some young guys, Cole Hawker, Yara Nagus, 
all these guys in the college level are looking at this guy to beat. And he knows he's the Olympic reigning champion. He needs to get back, he needs to show his stuff, and he did today. All right, he's walking over to Andrew Weeding. These guys know what it's uh -oh. like to be on the big stage at the trials and at the games. Andrew, is the swag ESPN back? He and Andy. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, well, the champ seems to be in fine form, but I think, you know, known for quite a few things, but more commonly known as the guy who binge ate a bunch of Reese's Cups before <laughs> for New York race oh, uh, in college. He learns from the best, man. He learns from the best. I that's, learned from you yep, many, many, many years ago. That's yeah, right, my man. So tell us, was uh, oh, we haven't oh, seen oh, you oh, for, oh, like, oh, for two, almost two years now. So <laughs> what, uh, I've been around, I've been around, no. Uh, you know, last year was obviously a weird year for a lot of people, and uh, um, my timing couldn't be any better right now. I had some injuries last year, so the Olympics being postponed obviously was a blessing in disguise, and uh, I feel like I'm coming around in good form right now. Yeah, well, we saw the 5K, um, sound, sound running meet, and yeah, then now yeah. 15. You got numbers yep. on the board, so I think uh, any messages to any challengers out there? I mean, right now, I feel like everyone's uh, got their A game, always, always with Olympic years, so um, I'm just focused on myself right now, and uh, I still got to be a lot better than I was today, and uh, that's what I plan on doing the next few weeks. 31 years old, you've made Oh, come on. Oh, okay. come on. 24 years old. There you go. Thank uh, you. It's right. Um, so tell me, what's it feel like uh, being the older guy in the circuit? Man, all these young kids coming up, you know, I'm sad not seeing familiar faces such as yourself on the starting line. I remember watching these, they're like 2,000, born in the 2000s, man, this new millennium, so it's, uh, it, it's humbling. Um, it's also great to see all these fast young guys in college and fresh out of college just um, kind of inspire uh, some of the older guys to kind of get moving and, and uh, stay on our A game too. So that's right. What's that, Lewis? Yeah. No. He, uh, thank you. No. He, uh, you're right. I am more attractive than he is. Oh, right. I did right. not that's say that. Champion Matthew Centrowitz. I, I Thanks, did guys. not say that. You are a troublemaker. That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those two. Oh my goodness, Andrew Weedy. Listen, listen, these races, man, do not come without trouble sometimes. And that's what can happen. But at some point, you got to get yourself back up and get back in the next race. But the man who stayed in it, Matthew Centrowitz, up and on his toes, getting to the finish line, winning. Look out at the Olympic trials.